Good morning, guys. And today with uh, our Photoshop project, we're going to be diving in even deeper with the clone stamp tool. Uh, in this activity, what we're going to do is use the clone stamp tool not to erase things from an image, but to actually paint with cloned pixels. And we're going to do it in order to create a futuristic vehicle using one of these classic cars. Okay, now I have a folder prepared for you with lots of images of different cars to choose from. Feel free to pick whatever one you'd like. I'm going to use this vintage Volkswagen Ban here. And I'm going to be using the clone stamp in a slightly different way today. I want to try to make it look like this is a flying car. So I'm actually going to clone out the wheels, the tires, and any kind of fenders to make this thing look like it's hovering above the concrete. Um, so let me dive right into this and I'll show you some techniques that you can use. I'm going to zoom in uh, on my van and I'm going to use my clone stamp tool here. Uh, and I want to look for areas that have straight lines like this bottom edge of the car. This is going to be really useful for cloning and creating a little cover up seam here where the tire is showing through. So I'm going to make my uh, clone stamp a little bit smaller using my bracket keys on my keyboard. And I'm going to start by selecting a nice straight part of this edge. So I'm going to alt click right here to grab that piece of chrome. Okay. Now I'm going to move forward on my timeline or on my image and I'm going to line up my chrome strip and I'm going to push straight across the vehicle. Okay. Right to the back of the car to connect over that fender. And this is going to look kind of weird at first, but I think as I go a little bit farther, you'll see what I'm trying to do here. Okay. Now I want to cover up this part of the fender. So I'm going to grab some clean pixels from right here, alt click, and I'm going to use those to wipe out the um, top part of that fender. I'll make my brush a little bit smaller. I'm going to alt click to grab this little seam right here. And I'm going to bring that down so it doesn't look strange. It'll connect up a little bit. Uh, and then I want to fill in this little spot here. I think the easiest way to do it is going to be to clone part of this bumper and have it go back a little bit more. So I'll go ahead and alt click right here. And I'm going to just extend that bumper back a little ways. And then I'll clean this up, get some smaller brush, grab some clean pixels. And I'm going to just carefully go in here and try to hide this edge. Let's go right here. Let's go right there. Maybe grab part of this bumper and use that to cover up any weirdness I see. If you mess up, you just do control Z to go back one step. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. I've hit it pretty well. Okay. So now that that, if I zoom out, you can kind of see what I've done here. I've covered up that fender of the car and I want to do the same thing on the front end. So let's zoom in again. And we're going to just grab some clean pixels from over on this end. So I'll make my brush a little bit bigger. And I'll do Alt click. And then I'm going to come forward and line up that chrome bumper. And I'm just going to push. Now I'm paying attention to where my crosshairs are there so that I don't go too far. I'm going to push it as far as I can. That looks about right. Let's go back and grab some more. Alt click. Grab some more clean from here, bring it up to the front, and now I can extend it out even farther. Okay, we'll have it go all the way up to that bumper. Looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna grab clean pixels from the side of the car here. We'll alt click, and we're gonna try to fill this in. If you need to make the brush smaller, go ahead and do that using your bracket keys. Alt click, come in here, alt click around here. Oops, I went a little bit too far. Let's try that again. Alt click and we'll just push and I'm keeping an eye on where that crosshairs is because that's going to tell me how much space I have left. So I'll do here, alt click and we'll just push and clean up that little seam and then I'll zoom in on this little edge, make my brush real small, alt click and we'll just push right there. Okay, that's looking really clean. Let's push this up a little bit too. All right, I'm going to zoom back out. So I've gotten rid of my fenders uh, and my car is getting there, but I definitely want to hide the wheels and tires from underneath the van. So uh, one of the things I want to keep 
is this shadow. The shadow is going to be a big help to make it look like the van is actually hovering above the cement. So what I'll do is I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger and I'm going to alt click to grab this shadow area right here. Okay. Now I'm going to use that to paint across and erase the tires. Now I need a little more pixels. So I'm going to come back to this clean spot, alt click, and I'm going to push all the way across. Okay. Oops. Let's try that again. Alt click to get some clean pixels and just clean that up. Okay. Alt click, line up the shadows. It's pretty good. Okay. Then I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller and I'm going to grab some cement from right here. So we'll go alt click and let's push across as far as I can go. You see where my crosshairs is. I don't want to touch the tire there. So we'll come back to the beginning, alt click, come forward and we'll push across. Okay. And I'm just going to lightly do that. Oops. Let's try it again. Alt click and we'll push. It's a little bit of trial and error, so don't get frustrated. Alt click. Uh, let's pick it from right about here. Alt click. And then I'm going to line up that shadowy edge under the car right there. And I'm going to push across. Let's try it again. Alt. I'm just trying to hide any weird edges in there as best I can. Okay. Halfway there. We just need to get rid of the front tires. I'm going to pause the video for a minute and I'll uh, come back in a sec. Okay. So after a couple seconds, I've gone in and erased those front tires. And as you can see now, I have my fully floating futuristic car. Okay. Now, to finish it up, you want to just look for any places that kind of give away that's been photoshopped. So I'm going to zoom in here. And the only place where I'm kind of seeing it is right around this front bumper edge, that little shadow glitch right there. So I'll make my brush really, really small. And I'm going to alt click to grab some cement. And I'm just going to paint that in there and try to cover up any giveaways that this has been photoshopped. Okay. And if you pull it off, you should have a pretty cool flying vehicle, All right? When you're done, go ahead and save this as a JPEG and you want to name it with your last name, first name, flying car, okay? Um, good luck today and get some practice using that clone stamp tool to paint.